Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to restore an old pizza cutter. I bet everyone's got one of these in their drawer and they're completely dulled because they are cutting their frozen pizzas on their plates, but it's actually not that hard to restore one of those and I'm gonna show you what you need and how to do it in this video. So let's get right in. So for tools, all we need is a piece of sandpaper. I'm using 220 grit. It's a wet and dry paper, but we are using it dry here just for simplicity. I'm putting it on my cutting board just to protect my table. And then what we do is what we always do in these videos, we're gonna cover the edge in Sharpie just to make sharpening for us a bit easier and we can see where we're taking away material. So now let's get to the sharpening. We are taking our pizza cutter and then putting it on the table, lifting it a bit until we feel that the angle is right and then pull it across. And we can see this grind looks absolutely perfect. So let's just continue this until we are done. So now this feels about right. If you can, if you look here, I've ground all the way around both sides and on the opposing side, I can feel a burr, you can hear it. So now let's deburr it. And for this, I'm using an old leather belt I had. I'm using the cross side from the inside and I'm giving it a few passes with quite a good amount of pressure. Now let's test this thing for sharpness. And I would say that this is good enough. You can even get some paper cuts. These things are just made from extremely crappy steel. And if you get this far, this is already perfect and way better than it came from the factory. I'm guaranteeing you. So. You can see it's pretty easy. You can clean this up afterwards and it's very easy and inexpensive to do. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something and found it interesting. If you did, consider subscribing and giving the video a like and then I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.